All right, so what we have here is we're, we're laying the glass out on top of uh, on top of uh, the th uh, top of the boat, and so you're gonna cut right down the blue. Yeah, yes, we're gonna we're gonna initially glass right up to the blue uh, mask area. Yep, and then that'll be. Uh, and then you're gonna cut this. Um, I might cut it just to save it. Um, so, um, and we have to make sure we go over the edge here. Yeah. So. It's going to come this way, I think. And, and uh, what the plan is, is uh, we're going to overlap into the trunk by about an inch. And I have a foam a foam core there, which we're going to put in there and, and jam it up against the edge to make it a work. Oh, good idea. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, that's a like a, Hey, dear, how you doing? Well, give, me, give us a hand. Um, we need to uh, spread this out, so it'll be... You want to go just over the edge, um, which in, right in the middle where, the, where it's the widest yeah. needs to be like an inch or so down below. Down below. Right. And then we'll straighten it out. The rails are actually off the boat, right? Yeah. The, yeah. So just we're going to go. Rail. Right. So we're going to go all the way down. Okay. And spread it out so it looks as smooth as we can. And are you just going to the center? We're going over the center by about. Um, you cut the mailers out later, half. or um, that's my plan. I don't okay. know if it's going to work, or just seal them right over. Then you have to worry about them. It really, exactly. it's the only the we boat can. won't leak. Yeah, and then we can. It is going to be pliable once we start spreading the epoxy. It's going to be a little bit, a little bit pliable, but it's. Now I was going to wax, uh, in addition to the packing tape on the baler, just to make sure that it will release. Yeah. Um. Oh, we could conceivably, we could conceivably <laughs> list. It did not get done. We could conceivably list list it. So S glass. Apparently, we're using S glass at Liggett's recommendation. What's, it, what's the definition of S glass? What do you mean by? It? Um, not sure, but it was formulated to work with epoxy, where E glass. Is formulated to work better with. Um, does does e glass have? Um, is that the fibrous material? E glass is the. Does it still look stuff. like this? It looks like this. Oh. It's just the formulation. Another, another issue here. We'll have to stretch it back. You know, at least a chance it'll just form right to it. Like we're doing. Yeah, but it. I mean, it, it looks beautiful right now. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're gonna mess it up. So. <laughs> Let's slide the speaker just in just a hair so it's This is scary, man. Well, it's probably not scary for you because it's not your boat, right? <laughs> Think what's the worst case? You mess it up and you just gotta sand it again. <laughs> exactly, and take all this glass off. <laughs> and take it to Riddle. And, and give it to Riddle. And take it. Yeah. Okay, so you wanna pho photograph um, some shots just so you can see what we're that we're really working. What we're, that we're really yeah. working. I, I need to give Marlene some evidence. So I'm, <laughs> I'm going with the Craig to bring you. Uh, he ran 24 miles this morning. Yeah, I saw Beth doing about 18 yesterday. No, she didn't. Oh, she didn't. She was that supposed was her plan. to. Yeah, that was her plan. She actually posted that was her plan and. She said after 12, she just couldn't go. <laughs> We're signed up for the uh, Las Vegas Marathon. I saw that. I forget when that is. 
December 2nd, the week after Thanksgiving. This was forming really good. Nice. And this is what Matt Cruise Camp did on this, too. All right, so the first the first thing that we're going to glass is the inside of the setterboard trunk. And I sanded down only about an inch, so we're going to have to cut out that, that chunk. The silver bullet. Silver Do we have bullet. enough overlap here in the front? Um, I think we have, yeah, plenty. I'm you see where it's masked? Yeah, on the, you don't have to worry too much about it at the top. I actually, this is going to be covered with, with a plate. Yeah. I, I was off actually considering not even glassing this because we mm -hmm. have this rough edge here. Right. But if it'll go and go cleanly, then, yep. then that'll be fine. Scary. Anybody else scared but me? Because it's not our boat. <laughs> It'll still float. So, I've never attempted anything like this at I all. Didn't. Oh, anyway, I was going to tell you about the uh, the issue with Liggett and the um, glass situation. Um, progressive epoxy polymer is, is the name of this company. Uh -huh. And the key thing about the reason why uh, Liggett likes this company is because they do um, no blush epoxy. If you're gonna, if you're gonna epoxy, well, it's also half the price or less of um, West System. The actual epoxy. The actual epoxy. Yeah. And if you epoxy and then varnish on top of your epoxy, which is what I'm gonna have to do. Yeah. Then you have this issue with blushing, which sometimes you get it like a, a, a cloudiness in the epoxy. Right. Um, yep. And this will not do that. So nice. that's yep. that's the, the purpose of it. And they have several epoxy products, and I'm going to go that way. In the glass, or maybe a pebble underneath. I think once you put the epoxy stuff. In. Uh, you might be able to work it through the weave in the glass. That's what I'm trying to do. Yep. Beautiful, thank you. It's a little tiny pebble. Yeah. Thank you can bring me my glasses. Yeah. Yeah. And then here, another thing that you could help me with, um, once we put the foam in here, uh, we're going to jam something on this side. I was thinking dog towels or some type of towel just to push the foam pad against the edge here. Can you fix that now? Yeah, sure. Should I iron that? Yeah. And probably melt. Yes, I am scared, Sarah. <laughs> you just saw my smile. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're going over to Ben's girlfriend's folks to watch the Eagles game. Oh, cool. You guys in the sports uh, stuff, it's so funny, and follow Luke on his Twitter page. Yeah. And he's, his, Philly, his Philly sports things are just hilarious, his postings. So, did I hear noises that you might consider coming back? He's, he's been saying that for the last 10 years, you know, so... Um, now that his wife isn't his wife anymore, right? Right. Yep. Um, so, but I don't know if he's 
know, I think he can, if he finds a job, I think what he should do is just move back and then find a job. Um, if he wants to do it. Right. Um, but I don't know, it's hard to, maybe that's not good advice season. You really want the job first. But, you know, then, then, he, then he talked about, oh, I guess it's a nice girlfriend down there, you know, this and that. So he's got a girlfriend there, I think, anyway. Oh, yeah. He was talking about, actually, uh, that one trip we made uh, to the Chesapeake Bay. He was yeah. initially talking about bringing her. Oh, yeah. That worked out very good on that guy's boat. Yeah, is that cool? Yeah. And uh, I heard Danielle's report. But I didn't quite hear your your report. Oh, I, I just that. had so much fun. It was unfortunately way too much drinking. I heard about the dinghy incident. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I noticed the dinghy, and I said, you know, it just keeps popping up and down on those waves behind the boat, you know? Right. So I'm thinking, I'll just, I'll just ease it out a little bit. Well, unfortunately, I eased it out way up. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> there were so many beers. Let it go. And I just let it go. And we had a Chinese fire drill. That's what I heard when everybody was toasted. Mike, how you doing, my friend? I'm drunk. And um, the good news is... You know Dan Reasoner? No, I don't think Mike, so. Hi, Mike. Hi. How's it going? Rick I think Andrew. we met probably once a couple oh, yeah? years ago. I, one of the guys, I think, when I sat with Rick. Rick yeah. Antrobus's friend. Oh, okay. And yeah. also my chiropractor. Oh, neat. And, and two-time I got a... Yeah, uh, yeah. Co crew. yeah, exactly. <laughs> First place regatta crew. And this is Sarah. Have you met Sarah? Nope. And Hi. this is my wife, Becky. Mike, Hi. This, Hi. Is, this is my chiropractor. Hi, nice how are you? Good. So, so what do you think, Mike? So far, so good. Is this how Rick would do it? I have no idea. <laughs> I thankfully stayed far, far away from it when he was doing his. Where do you live? What's that? Where do you live? About a mile away from here. Oh, okay. Right, right over. That's uh, convenient. Yeah. And he bought... Um, Paul's penguin. Oh, okay. actually, just and sold it. <laughs> well, you did buy it and then sold it. <laughs> bought it and sold it, and and all, and then brought bought Snader's Lido fourteen. Oh, okay. So yep. he kept the Lido, sold the penguin, which was hard to do. Like I, the penguin was just a nicer boat overall, but the Lido just works out better. Yeah, because I had two little kids. It's a little nicer, a little bigger. Yeah. Where do you actually sail? Um, the few times I've taken the penguin out, it's been. Up in Naka Mixing. Um, Have you ever gone to Galena? No, I hadn't. I've run around it and biked around it, and I was like, oh, I wonder if I could. I saw they had boats up there. I never even thought about it. I've always seen kayaks, and then yeah. I was like, oh, I could go right there, too. I have a couple of lasers. I live right near Galena. Okay. So I have a couple of lasers I take up there every once in a while. We were going to go this morning. We had planned out, had it all hooked up to the boat or the car, all set to go, and then got up this morning, and I was like, I don't see the trees moving. <laughs> I'm not seeing any wind either. There was, there was no wind at Galena at all. Yeah. Yeah. You made the right decision. I was going to call you to see if you... Cause don't you have like access to their... To Nakamixon's like weather thing? I was going to say, yeah. just tell me if there's a better wind up there. But I was like, you know, it looks pretty quiet. So I... Figured you come, come, and help Craig, come and help Craig spread his epoxy. Yeah, at least to check it out. So what's your schedule? You, or can you stay? You got a couple, you I can stay for a little bit. We have a uh, rescue dog who's coming to our house at... Uh, Four. Okay. So, uh, gotta rescue one of your family? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, uh, we, our dog passed away this summer, so we're looking for a new one. And yeah. my wife met someone with a rescue group that offered to bring them over to our house. So I was like, wow. And we'll see us from doing it. You're going to pick. <laughs> oh, isn't that cool? So, well, we've been looking, and she has two. One's a lab, one's a shepherd lab mix. So. So what's been the, the progress of the day? Okay, so you we 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 this we is started. masked. Here's this here's the strategy. This is this is masked. We're gonna overlap and spread the epoxy just with squeegees up through to the mask area here, which is inch and a half beyond the center line. So okay. We'll, so we'll do that on the on the port side as well. So. I really don't think Rick would have used speakers as uh, oh. <laughs> Shh. He would have built something special. No, he, he would have had a fifty dollar rigged up like Plum and Square uh, Oktoberfest if you so oh. choose to help yourself. Absolutely. Alright, so um, lessons on epoxy mixing. Because that's our that's the the and, and, and all the time 
someone's going to have to be doing mixing the epoxy. Mixing the epoxy. I'll do it, but somebody will have to take over the recording. Yeah, you can actually turn that off for a little bit. We're